One incident, Allahu Akbar, this is very sad. Wallahi, I heard this recently and qasam by Allah, I cried. This one person, he was saying, I went to one area and I saw one man, he was sitting there holding his head and just, just rubbing it like this. So he walked past and he couldn't identify him as being a Muslim. There was no identity of being a Muslim. So he said, Un Uncle, you're right. Is everything, everything well? You, you got a headache or something? And then he said, oh, what can I tell you, son? I'm in very, very bad position. I'm in, very, I'm in a lot of pain. So he said, where are you from? So he identified his country and his nationality. And it just so happened, funny enough, they're both from the same town. Check that out. Coincidence. They were both from the same town. Now, I don't want to mention country because we're not here to attack personality, nationality or nothing. This is Ibra because we're one Ummah. Kick nationalism to the side. Nothing to do with Islam. We are Muslim, one Ummah Muslims. He walked past and then he sat down and said, Uncle, okay, what's your situation? He said, look, son, I swear I wish I could, can, I wish I could, you, I could explain my dard and the pain which I feel. I wish I could explain to you the pain which I am feeling. He said, I came back in the 60s. Poor people, we had nothing. We had absolutely nothing. Allah Ta'ala brought me here. <clears throat> I just saw it happen. I got married here. And I got married after her married. Um, I had two kids. But my concern was, I need to build bank balance. Basa basa. I need to build a house somewhere nice and big. So now what happened is he said that I struggled and I worked. I have to now I've got 11 houses, 11 houses, I've got a couple of shops. He said there's no deficiency in money. I have no concerns when it comes to money. He said, but when did I wake up and when did I realize that I've gone too far and now I need to take a U-turn and come back? When? Allahu Akbar, Allah save us all. He mentioned to this person, he said, now my condition is such, my daughters have gone mature age their regular activity is they go clubbing and so many times I have seen it with my eyes they have brought men back into my house and they had made zina in my house I swear by Allah I'm not here to fabricate stories to impress you I'm not here to fabricate a story to impress you at all because this is sharam for us sharam but this is the truth of what can happen and by this time he was crying. Wallah, he was crying so much. And then he said to the, to the youngster, he said that and when I said to my daughter, I said, oh, please have some shame. You're a, you're, a, you're a woman. Have some shame. Your izzat, your respect has been stolen. And they're just coming to, their Gaza is there and they're gone. What concern have they got for you? They're seeing you half naked. They're saying, ha, this we can, we easy shikar, easy target here. Go there, finish, bye, see you later. We've got nothing to do with you. Who are you? What? And then he said, I went to my daughter, I said, please look, don't do this for Allah's sake. She goes, old man, you shut your mouth, yeah? You shut your mouth. I do what I want to do. And the mother is taking the side of the daughters. Free, they said, she's got her own mind, she can do what she wants to do. It's a free country we live in. No doubt it's a free country, and alhamdulillah it's a free country. But does that mean we sack our Islam off? We sacrifice the teachings of Rasulullah? Imagine that khabar when he gets to Rasulullah, the pain he would feel. In his qabr, the tarab, Allahu Akbar. My ummah are doing this, the ummah is doing this. A beautiful young girl from the, my ummah, with respect, has gone out and made shame of herself. And what is the father doing all those years? He said, Qasam by Allah, if I lived in a council house, I would be happy that today my daughters received their izzat. We don't know what's going on, that's the truth, we don't know. There are multitudes of examples, so many which I can tell you and from my Gunikar eyes which I have seen.